somewhere in Des Moines or San Antonio, there's a young gay person who all of a sudden realizes that she or he is gay, knows that if the parents find out, they'll be tossed out of the house. The classmates would taunt the child, and the Anita Bryans and John Briggs are doing their bit on TV, and that child had several options. Staying in a closet, suicide, and then one day that child might open a paper that says homosexual elected in San Francisco, and there are two new options. Option is to go to California. Stay in San Antonio and fight. Two days after I was elected, I got a phone call. And the voice was quite young. It was from Altoona, Pennsylvania. And the person said, thanks. And you've got to let gay people so that that young child and the thousands thousands like a child know that there's hope for a better world, there's hope for a better tomorrow. Without hope, there are only gays, but those blacks, the Asians, the disabled, the seniors, the essence, the essence without hope, the essence give up. I know that you cannot live on hope alone. But without it, life is not worth living. And you, 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 got to get home. Thank you very much. Good evening to outsiders and even to some San Franciscans. It must appear the city has gone a little insane. Just as everyone is beginning to come to grips with the mindless murder-suicide of over 900 members of the San Francisco-based People's Temple, word screams out over the radio, the television, the newspapers that another tragedy is upon us. Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Oh. 